Okay, so we're gonna build a single API route on top of Express on top of Netlify's functions. Let's get started. So first off is a directory called Netlify Express. Second, we're gonna go into that directory. Third, we're gonna make package.json file with all the defaults. And then we're going to install our dependencies. So we have Express, a package called Netlify Lambda, which will basically uh, serve our functions locally and compile them for us for production. And then a package called serverless HTTP, which takes our Express app and converts it uh, into a Lambda ready to go. Okay, now that those are installed, let's open our folder in Visual Studio Code. Okay, so we have our packages installed. Let's quickly make a git ignore file so we can ignore these node modules. And while we're here, we'll also have to ignore our compiled functions. And we're going to be putting those inside a directory called functions. So I'll ignore that now. Next off, we'll uh, set up Netlify. So we'll do a netlify.toml file. And in our build step, we will declare our functions uh, to go in a directory called functions. Okay, so that's all we need here. And then the, I think the last thing we need for Netlify is a new folder called dist. And inside there, we're just going to put a blank file. Okay, so every time you deploy something to Netlify, you need to give it a disk directory. So we're just going to give it um, a disk directory with just an empty file in it. Okay, so then the next thing we want to do is create our source directory and create our API. So we're going to make a, uh, a JS file called API, and then we're going to bring in Express. So we're going to require Express. And we're going to bring in serverless. And remember that this is at the serverless HTTP, oops, serverless HTTP package. And then we can create our Express app like we normally would. So new instance of Express. And then what we want to do is in order for the Lambda to run, we need to export a handler function. So we'll do module.exports.handler equals and then we're gonna take our Express app and wrap it with serverless. So serverless and then pass in our app. And then lastly, all we need to do is make a router and create our route. So we'll do router equals express.router. Our route can look like router.get and we'll pass in our request and our response. And we will return, uh, let's just return some JSON. So we'll do like hello with a high value. And then we need to take this router that we've made and bind it into the app. So we'll do app.use router. However, we need to tell the router where it's bound to. And what Netlify does is it'll put all of your functions inside this .netlify directory and then inside whatever you passed in uh, for your functions parameter. So in our case, it's functions. And then in our case, we need to do the name of the function, which is API. So now the router knows that it lives at this route and then it'll serve everything from this and then here. Okay, so now the last thing we need to do is create our two commands, one to start our Lambda locally and one to build it uh, in production. So in package.json, we'll make one called a uh, script called start and that'll be the Netlify Lambda package that we installed locally with the serve command and we're gonna serve the source directory and then we're going to do the same thing for build, uh, but instead of serve, we're going to do build source directory. Now we should be able to run npm start just from here. And then I'll start our server and run everything locally on port 9000. We can go localhost 9000. And then remember that our app is bound, the router of our app is bound to Netlify functions API. So we need to hit that route. We hit that root and we get our hello hi JSON output. And then from here, we can take it further. And if we wanted to add extra endpoints, we can make another one called test and change our value to be test. And you'll notice too that Netlify Lambda, which is building our app, will actually watch for changes and rebuild the app on the fly. So we don't have to restart the server. We can just go to our new root and we get test. So now the next thing we want to do is deploy this to Netlify. So I have this example app set up and running using the same code base. Uh, our build command is just npm run build. And then like I mentioned previously, we need, always need to specify a published directory. So that's why we have that dist with the empty index.html. 
and then when you hit that app it just returns that empty page but then you can go to .NET LoFi functions API and we get our JSON output. Okay, so this has been uh, how you can run Express on Netlify using Netlify's functions. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and follow me on Twitter at Owen Conti.